Welcome back. Colon cancer, not something that young adults typically think about, but there has been an increase in cases among younger folks. And joining us this morning from Kaiser Permanente is Dr. Chaya Hasagar. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. My so pleasure. go ahead and tell me, explain, give us the big picture right now in terms of cases that we're seeing among young people. So colon cancer is a second leading cause of death from cancer in the United States. And 20% of the new cases of colon cancer are detected in people who are 55 years of age or younger. Wow. And that's an increase from say 11% mm -hmm. in 1995. Wow. So the incidence is going up, especially amongst young adults. So why do you think that we're seeing this shift all of a sudden? Um, the Tests that we do to detect colon cancer are getting better. Okay. The screening tests are better. We're also seeing an increase in some of the environmental factors. Being, being a what as far as environmental factors? When we talk about environmental factors, it's um, making sure that you're eating healthy. Sure. You know, not smoking. Um, making sure you maintain a healthy weight. All of these factors can increase the risk of colon cancer. And as you said, the technology is getting better in being able to track some of this down. So how important, how vital is it to get some early screening done? So colon cancer diagnosis can be scary, yeah. but screening is not. And when we detect colon cancer early, it's 90% curable. So the cure rate of colon cancer is really great in early stages. And so for that, doing screening tests regularly and early is key. Yeah, and I know for a lot of folks, when it comes to the idea of screening for any type of cancer, sometimes it's just, you don't want to know. Exactly. But really, the, the screening aspect of it, not only vital, but it, it is very easy, isn't it? Exactly, this is one of those few situations where you can do the test at home. Oh, really? So we have stool-based tests. Okay. There is FIT test, which is a fecal immunochemical test. There is Cologuard test. So these tests can be done at the convenience of your home in five minutes. And obviously much less intrusive than someone might actually anticipate. Um, right. Again, this is one of those aspects where people just don't get screened often enough. Are there any sort of red flags that somebody might notice uh, in their bodies change? and maybe that, that that's a good reason for them to go and see a doctor? Now colon cancer, the signs of colon cancer, they are rectal bleeding, you know, you have blood in the stools, um, belly pain, a change in your bowel habits. Mm. But unfortunately, by the time you see these signs, it's too late. It's more advanced cancer. So that's why it's important that you do the screening test because not only it detects cancer, mm -hmm. but also precancerous lesions like polyps that can be yeah. then removed. So at what age now should folks be coming in? That's a good question, because in the past we would recommend starting at age 50, mm -hmm. but as I said, the incidence is more in younger patients. Yeah. So we recommend starting at age 45 now. Oh boy, okay, you just hit right on my age. Okay, so as far as like men and women, are we seeing a, a, any kind of disparity between the two sexes in terms of the rates? There is a slight disparity, but having said that, I would say everybody needs to get screening done at age 45. All right, perfect. Doctor, thank you so much for your time this morning. A very important topic for sure.